started the collection when I was going to the gun shows with my husband selling his military. I felt uh, nothing for me to do, and I thought he had two uniforms, women's uniforms at home, and I said, well, I'm going to start collecting them because I was going to do a trophy show. I was told not to do it because it wasn't a gun, and I says, I'm doing it anyway. So I did it in Minnesota, and I took first place. And uh, so I says, they asked me to do it again because it has such a warm invitation from the people. The people were thrilled with seeing it, and then I was invited by Minnesota to do it at the uh, National Rifle Association Con Convention. Uh, what started it out was the WHOOPS, Women Officers of Public Safety. The Women's uh, Officers of Public Safety is something that a lot of people don't know anything about. It's an organization of women during World War II that were inducted into the military to guard the dams and the reservoirs for the Tennessee Valley Association. Uh, they were trained in jiu-jitsu, they were trained with rifles, and they were trained with cold, cold, uh, uh, guns. Uh, they uh, were the only armed unit in, in World War II with, for women. Uh, in the case is a uh, US, US TVA gun that was issued to the Whoops organization. And this is owned by Elmer from, uh, or Elvin from Minnesota Weapons. And he put it into our display to bring it out more. Uh, during a show, I found the Whoops badge which is um, very hard to find. Um, and it was given to me by a lady in, um, uh, from a show that I was at, and she gave it to me to uh, put on with the display. Um, this is a gun case, uh, the gun ammunition box from the uh, ammunition that was used for the, um, I believe it was for the, cartridge so it was for the small arms it had to be for the the gun I, I'm assuming but it is marked as a whoops uh, you, uh, uh, ammunition um, we kind of based it on this case on the whoops it's just a, uh, a simple World War II summer enlisted hat and a Canadian hat It was just some of the ones that we had that we wanted to implement into the um, display. Um, over here you have a WAC, Women's Army, Army Corps, who is administration. She uh, uh, worked within the offices and everything like that. She is an Army Air Corps nurse that uh, uh, took care of the people and, you know, uh, just... Uh, she took care of uh, the military forces, basically. This one is the one that transported, uh, the, uh, helped in transporting the uh, injured and the uh, main from uh, different countries coming home. Uh, she, she was uh, uh, taking care of them. The next one is the uh, Women's Marine. Uh, they, uh, when, when they were put in, they were having an argument of what their names were going to be. Was it going to be the marionettes or whatever like that? And uh, uh, Lieutenant McDowell says, no, they are to be named Marines. They will not be anything else but Marines, just like the men. The next one is the SPARS. This is a Coast Guard. These are the women. And as you can see, the SPARS means Semper Paratus, always ready. Uh, they're... Um, they were the women that uh, took care of uh, um, parachutes and things like that and helped on the uh, different areas that were needed uh, for, for um, ships and, and things like that. That is like our Coast Guard now. Okay, the next one, this is, a, this is the woman that the uniform belongs to that was given to me by a gentleman. And this is his aunt and these are her service records. This is the winter uniform, the dark navy blue winter uniform. And then, then next to that is the white navy uh, uniform uh, um, uh, that was just I, um, the summer uniform. Okay. 
This is the American Red Cross Grey Lady. These are the women that went into the hospitals that took care of all the, the women that were, or all the men that were uh, sick or injured or disabled. At one time they weren't with the government, but then the government did, as, after seeing what they did to care for their people, they were put into the government, uh, they were put, put into the government status. Uh, I just learned that this morning by a gentleman from Alaska who teaches. Uh, history and he told me that that I did not know that at the time but he, he informed me that they were uh, so-called inducted into the military which I didn't know this is one of the nurses uh, that uh, like a nurse's aide type person uh, she's got the uh, like the candy stripe thing but they, these were the ones that um, went into the hospitals and, and uh, help take care of all the people and they were also uh, going to school at the time to continue with their nursing skills. This is a cadet, cadet nurses corps. This is students that were hired by the government or hired uh, their, their tuition and everything was paid by the government to go to school to learn nursing because of all the nurses that were being sent overseas to help take care of the sick and the, the uh, ill over, overseas. So what they did is they put these girls into school and trained them for nursing. Okay, this is the American Red Cross Welfare Service. These are the people uh, that took care of the problems at home for families who had issues at home. Uh, if they needed to get a hold of their person over in Europe or whatever, or wherever they were, if they needed, these were the people that helped take care of their problems, help the family if they needed help in any way whatsoever during while the person was away for service. This is a student nurse uh, that uh, was uh, almost ready to graduate. She's got the, um, uh, on the collar is the SN, the uh, MRS, I believe, or is it MTS? Uh, looks like that's the uh, initials. It could be of the school or it could be uh, of where she was doing her training. And then, of course, an, uh, uh, one of the original first aid textbooks. And then the Marine poster. And this may be a reproduction, but I wanted it because his face is showing the different services. It's showing the Army, the Navy, the uh, Marines, and the Coast Guard. And I thought when I did the, the display, it would bring it out. It would, you know, make it a lot better, uh, honoring the four major units. This is one that I just picked up. Um, <laughs> Um, she's, uh, she was one that served in China, Burma. Um, she, uh, it was a very wanted job that she did. Everybody wanted to be overseas and she was um, able to go over there. It was a job that uh, everybody wanted to see, receive the overseas. And she was one that went over there and she got it. So she is wearing the China Burma um, patches to show that she had been over there. And I got the appropriate flag out of 48 star flag. <laughs> Thank you.